Why do Catholics pray, Holy Spirit come, when haven't we already received the Holy Spirit through baptism? For you now, your presence in this hour, I come Oftentimes, we pray that prayer, come Holy Spirit, or there's the traditional prayer that we pray as a church, come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faith, you know, and kindle them in the fire of your love. We, we pray these prayers, we ask the Holy Spirit to come, but one might ask the question, why do we do that? Don't we already have the Holy Spirit? Haven't we already been given the Holy Spirit? And it's true, absolutely, we've received the Holy Spirit through baptism and affirmed in our confirmation that the Holy Spirit has left an indelible mark on our soul. That's absolutely true, and we by no means diminish that. But the reason that we pray, Holy Spirit, come, is because we leak. We leak. That So often, what we do is we want to hold on to things in our lives. We, we want to be in control. We want to push things down into the darkness of our hearts and we're afraid to expose them to light. And by praying, Holy Spirit come, we're not saying we don't have any Holy Spirit anymore. There's none left. <laughs> what we're saying is we want the Holy Spirit to take over every part of our life. That all of the things that we hold on to, all of the ways that we hold back from God, all of the things that give us the perception that we're in control, we want you, Holy Spirit, to come and take control of all of those things. And it's not until we let go and relinquish control of all the things that we're holding on to that the Holy Spirit can come and more fully use us. And it's interesting, <clears throat> when we look at the book of Acts in the scriptures, for example, we see that after Pentecost, that they had received the gift of the Holy Spirit in a powerful and profound way and it sent them out, commissioned them to go and to evangelize and there was miracles and all kinds of extraordinary signs from God. But then we also see that they would need to come back together as a community, as the body of Christ. And it says that they would lay hands on one another, that they would pray together. And it says that they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And we see this all through the New Testament, that they would come back and be filled with the Holy Spirit and then they would be sent out. And after, we would see signs and miracles and conversions and all kinds of extraordinary things. And so that's what we mean when we pray, come Holy Spirit. We're saying, Holy Spirit, would you take control? This is everything that I am, God. This is all of me. Would you take my life and would you use me however you want? It's being docile to the will of the Holy Spirit in our lives. And when we do that, when we sincerely mean that and we offer our lives to God and we hold nothing back, just wait and see what the Holy Spirit does. Just when you Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, comment on it, tag someone else who'd enjoy it, share it. Go to my website, chrisbrandmusic.com to subscribe and consider bringing me to your faith community for a night of worship, a parish mission, or a youth event.